Hey there, it's Kevin from Product Design Online, and today I'm going to show you how to model a hairpin leg in Fusion 360. So to get started, we're going to model the L bracket. Now all of the dimensions I use in this video are based off a 6 inch hairpin leg that I bought from hairpinlegs.com. So I'm just going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle 1.75 inches by 4.75 inches. And then I'm going to do it from the same corner in the opposite direction to create the L shape. Now once I have the shape created, I'm going to go ahead and use the trim function or the T button for shortcut and clip that out of the middle. Now the actual hairpin leg bracket was cut using a water jet cutter. So I want to make sure that the bracket is rounded and smooth. So I'm going to put a radius of 0.1 inches on all the corners. Now that we have the basic shape, I'm going to go ahead and use the center circle tool to create quarter inch circles where the hairpin legs can be screwed in or attached to the furniture. Now all we have to do is extrude this up 0.125 inches or an eighth of an inch and we have our L bracket finished. So for this specific hairpin leg, the rod is 3 eighths inch thick. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line over 0.75 inches and up 2 inches, which is about the approximate location the rod starts. And then after I draw my circle 3 8 inch or 0.375, I'm going to go ahead and create a center line here so I can use the mirror function. Now I'm going to mirror the circle over so I don't have to draw the other lines again. And then I'm going to connect the two circles because we're going to use that line to create a plane later on. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the sketch. Now we need to create a plane on the back surface in order to create the height of the hairpin leg. So I'm going to create a tangent plane off the back and make sure that it's lined up correctly, parallel with that line we just created. And then I'm going to create an offset plane 0.375 inches away. Now the reason I'm doing this is because when our hairpin leg swoops or makes that bend up at the top, we don't want the thickness of the hairpin leg to stick past the L bracket. So once we have the offset surface here, we're going to go ahead and hide the first plane that we created and then create a sketch. Now I'm going to create a center line here. Now this is where you want to plug in the height of your hairpin leg. So again, for my example, the hairpin leg is six inches, but really you can plug in any length here, depending on what hairpin leg you're using. Now I'm going to create a line 0.75 inches down. Now this spot we're going to use to create a circle later on in order to create our center line. Now what we want to do is create a three point plane in order to create the angle that our center line is going to follow. So to do this, we're going to select three points here, the two circle centers and then the top of our six inch line. So once you have your plane, right click and hit create sketch. And then we're going to create a circle using the shortcut C on your keyboard. Now we're going to create a circle 1.125 inches here. Now again, the reason we're doing this and not making it go all the way to the top is we want to factor in the thickness of our rod. Now all we have to do to finish our center line is create a line from the middle of the circle tangent to the top circle. So you should see the tangent icon pop up. And then we're going to go ahead and do that to the other side. Then you'll want to trim out the middle of the circle here so it doesn't cause any problems when we use this as a center line. So now let's go ahead and stop the sketch and look at it from a different angle to make sure that our center line looks correct. Now all we have to do is create a loft. So you'll see here that I should have deleted these lines. So let's go ahead and do that now so it doesn't cause any problems. Now if I create a loft again, I can select the first profile, 
go ahead and select the second profile. And then I can select the center line. Now I need to make sure I change the guide type to center line before I do so. I want to select close, make sure that it's going to join to the L bracket and then OK. And there you have it, a simple and efficient way to create a hairpin leg in Fusion 360. If you learned something in this video, be sure to subscribe and check out Product Design Online for more resources.